Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Fleur. Still on Leon's route, not too much longer to go. And uh, let's see, we have to decide between true love or the end of the whole world, but we decided to take some time out and go on our very first date instead and delay even more. But anyway, as readers, we enjoy having fun, happy times with Leon. So let's go on our cute little date with him. Which is, um, as he says, our first date. Which is ridiculous, because we've already been on, well, semi-dates. I guess those weren't really official dates. This is our first official date. But seriously, how can this be Leon's first date? I mean, he's not exactly a kid, and he's traveled all across the land, and he's done lots of drinking, so he's probably met lots of barmaids, so how could this possibly be his first date? Alright, well anyway, let's go. <laughs> you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. What? I didn't do anything yet. I'm sorry. When I look at you, I just... Have to laugh? Because <laughs> she laughed, and that's why he was like... What? I didn't do anything yet. Well, it doesn't matter. But when I think about it, we barely spend any time alone together. Is that so? It is. Someone comes to interrupt us every time. Not every time. You guys come back alone plenty of times. Especially those twins. Well, they do more than interrupt. They actually try to kill me every time. That was your fault. Why? You're supposed to be on my side! You yourself caused the misunderstandings, didn't you? But they weren't... <laughs> It was, it was reasonable, though. He explained it. Ugh. If you say so, I can't really argue. Well, I came all the way to Pardodom just to see you. But home is where you make it. I fell in love with this place before I even realized it. After talking to the Hanabito, I feel that they're good people. I wonder how my drinking buddies are doing now. Were you drinking that often? Ah, that reminds me. You've never had alcohol before? No, Hubert never allowed me. I wonder what you would be like when you get drunk. Or whether you cry or laugh or sleep. Or maybe you'd act really spoiled. In any case, I would get to see a new face of yours. Not if she's a really controlled drunk and just acts like herself. <laughs> Even if I happen to drink in the future, it will not be in your presence. What? Even though he's your lover? Why? I don't make trouble even when I'm drunk. I just get a bit livelier and not violent at all. <laughs> she doesn't believe you, Leon. I wonder just how lively you would be if you were livelier than usual. That's a pretty good question because he's pretty energetic as it is. Time flies while talking to Leon. The conversation kept on going. I felt that no amount of time would be sufficient for me to finish talking to Leon. Not as a rain and a night, but just Violet and Leon. This may be the first time I've had a chance to actually talk to my satisfaction. But time doesn't stop. We both slowly fall silent. We ride in the carriage and head to the north. Deep inside the woods behind Leon's mansion, we have many memories in this place. Even that day, there was a beautiful moon just like tonight. When I think back, I missed a pretty big chance that time. What do you mean? You know what he means. Uh, I mean... Never mind. I'm the only one that can stay close to you right now. So, allow me to be conceited for just a moment. That will be enough. That day, when you bravely stayed in front of me. I should have stolen everything from you. Well, it's too late now. Leon. This time, I can't blame him. Because that happy night was actually the last peaceful moment we had. We knew we loved each other. Then, the very next day, our lives were turned upside down after the ceremony. If only I had let everything go that night, as he said. Would it make any difference now? I told you. It's too late now. Well, too late to look back at the past. Of course things would have been different. You could have been a little more lovey-dovey for a short period of time. <sighs> I was surprised that he read my mind, 
Then he gives me a bitter smile and says, Nothing would have changed. Or perhaps we would have suffered more. The deeper our feelings, the more desires we have, the harder it would be to let anything go. Yes, there is nothing we can do now. But I don't regret the fact that I started loving you. Violet. Everyone looks at me as a rain, as a matter of course. And I have never questioned that before. Back then, you were the one who created a stir. I was rather confused at first, but I started liking you more and more. As I speak, the memories we created together come back to my mind so clearly. Leon's existence, words and deeds, my mind was moved by everything about him. Before I knew it, I found myself enjoying your uninhibited ways. Uninhibited? Well, I really didn't mean to be like that, though. When a tall man like Leon gets sulky, even I think he is cute. Love changes a person. That is what our love has taught me. It wasn't an ordinary love, but still. Even though it was only for a little while, I could be in love. I don't regret knowing what it feels like to love. Yes, same here. My love for him grows each time he smiles. My first kiss was also with you. The pleasure of looking back on all the memories. That kiss made me stronger. It also made me trust that this love, this feeling, is really mine. Yeah, same here. This happiness I feel at being able to share your feelings. Everything that this love has given, I hold it all in my heart. Then, I look at Leon once more. What's wrong? Well... I said that it's too late now, but if I have to tell you my only regret... I want to kiss you, as who I am this time. Ugh. Not pretending to be sleeping, or just being carried away by you. Of my own free will, I will ask you this time. Please, Leon. I hate to spoil the moment, but you should have just kissed him. You don't have to ask him. Just kiss him. Be the forward one. I love you. So, please, will you kiss me? <sighs> you. Do you think I would deny any of your wishes? I'm hoping you would not. Oh, he's so cute. What's the problem? Damn it. Why are you so... No? I won't stop. Huh? Even if you tell me to stop, I won't stop it. <sighs> you don't have to stop, so... Please. Huh? Leon! When I stretch my arms out to him, Leon accepts all of me. I was nervous at first, but as we do it over and over, my body and mind are freed. I assume she means kissing. Instead of saying it in words, we just kiss to communicate our love. It has only been a short time since I fell in love with Leon. But still, my mind is full of love for him. I would never go back to the time when I didn't know what it means to love, even if I could. Please, let him feel my feelings, which can't be expressed in words. As I make that wish, I love you. His warm whisper echoes in my ear. I... I love you too. I love you, Leon. I naturally respond to him, and we kiss again. I feel like this moment is eternal. Leon is everything to me. I am not quite sure how long we demand each other under the moonlight, but we both wish for the same thing. Please, do not let the day break. Let this sweet dream continue forever and ever. Cruelly, the morning comes. Our night of love has come to an end. 
leaving only traces of lingering sense. We already made up our minds. Our minds became one. Since you've called us here, that must mean Princess has made up her mind. It seems so. We have to accept our decision. What? You two, what are you doing here? That's rather abrupt. Huh? Don't tell me this is your choice. I'm sorry for surprising you. Even though I look like this, it's still me inside. So I guess in order to have the gods' powers, they had to assume their bodies as well? Leon? So, she's... Yes, it is me, Violet. Then, can you explain to us what's going on? But why does Violet have Milene's voice and Leon doesn't have Zero's voice? No, Violet doesn't want to explain? And Leon doesn't want to explain? I am here to give you my last orders. The Southern Knight, Louis, and the Western Knight, Orpheus. I order you to drop your qualifications as knights and end your lives in this land. As I speak those words, I try to be a mindless tyrant, killing all my emotions, speaking as if what I'm saying is right, to make myself feel how cruel and selfish I am to choose this way. I am not allowed to let my voice shake or to shed tears. I have no right to do so. Leon, who stands by my side, must feel the same way, because we chose to commit the most sinful act in this world. I feel so bad for them. They just look at me without saying a word. I can't tell what's in their minds. Despise. I guess that's what she assumes they feel. Well, they don't look happy, but they're just very impassive looking. And unfortunately, we don't have any more translation for the moment. And I don't even have any translation uh, to record further episodes at the moment. But I just don't know how to feel about this right now. Really, once all is said and done, there's pros and cons, and there's good things in both ways to go, depending on how you look at it. And I'll explain that more later, but, I mean, because even though I couldn't read the text, I didn't understand what was going on exactly, I kind of got the impression of what was going on, but, um, yeah, so I'll discuss that later, but, huh. Maybe it's not so much of an equal choice after all, because... If Violet and Leon decided to give up their lives to the gods, even though Milene promised to give her all to extend the life of the land, maybe she meant that she couldn't actually keep creating grace anymore, and she might not actually be able to extend the life of the land all that much longer anyway. Oh, there's too many things that we don't really know unless we actually read all of the routes. And, um, I don't know if we're going to get to read all of the routes, because actually we're not getting that many viewers for this series right now, so I'm not really sure how interested that many people are in continuing it. So it's going to depend on the patron's decision, like I said before. Or maybe if we have to leave Rain de Fleur, maybe I'll be able to pick it up later on when I learn Japanese myself or something. Or when I have more time later on. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. It just takes so long to translate a game that I'm kind of reluctant to spend too much time on one game, you know? Unless people are really enthusiastic about it. Well, anyway, this was not a happy note to end this episode on. Hopefully, things will be better soon. <laughs> Give us some note of happiness here. I hope to see you in my future videos, and hopefully they'll be better. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.